Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to be creating some spring flowers in a vase all in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. As always, the color palette is entirely free. Just tap or click on the link in the video description and you can download it and install it. For this project, we are using three different brushes. The main brush for all the floral elements is my free mono weight brush. You can pick that up when you become a free Every Tuesday email subscriber. I'll leave a link in the video description to that as well. We're also using a default charcoal texture for the vase. So you can see that right here, this really nice texture. So it gives the impression that you can see through the vase. And then the last brush that we're using is my round marker brush, which is part of my Font Lovers Procreate brush set, which we're using for the lettering at the very end. So I'm going to create a brand new canvas that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 DPI. Okay, I got my canvas all set to go. Let's set a background color. So tap on your layer palette, hit background color, and we're going to choose the lightest blue color for this. And now we're going to draw out our vase. And in order to make it perfectly symmetrical, we're going to utilize our symmetry in Procreate. So you're going to hit the wrench. You're going to come over to canvas, turn on drawing guide, and then hit edit drawing guide. And I'm going to come over here where it says symmetry, tap on that, and I'm going to keep my thickness, let me make this like 90% so you can see it really well. And if you hit options, you just wanna make sure that vertical is selected and assisted drawing is turned on, make sure that rotational symmetry is not turned on. Once you have all these settings, hit done. And now we have this line straight in the center and we're on layer one right here. I have that free mono weight brush selected and I'm going to select my lightest color, this white color right here. And now whatever I draw on one side will appear on the other side. So that's what our symmetry does. So we're going to create the vase kind of in the center let me make this a little thicker so you can see it. I'm at 5% and I'm just going to draw a straight line over, wait for it to snap. And now I'm just going to come down and around. You can draw any vase shape that you would like. I'm going to stick with this shape and now I can fill it with color. Okay, I'm going to move it up just a little bit so I've got room for my lettering at the end. Okay, so now we're going to add some texture to this. So we're going to apply a layer mask. I do have a tutorial on layer masking, so if you're unfamiliar, tap on that link on screen or in the video description and you can learn more about layer masking. So what I'm going to do is just tap on this layer thumbnail, choose mask, and now I'm going to come over to my default brushes, come to your charcoals category and choose the 2B compressed. So the size of this is going to be about six, five or six percent, mine's at five percent. And all you're going to do is just lightly shade down the center and leave the edges opaque because I still want it to look like I have some thickness on the edges. Okay, now we're going to draw in the water inside of our vase. So we wanna keep the same symmetry going, but we need to put this on a new layer. So add a new layer and then tap on the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist. And this will keep whatever symmetry settings you were previously using and apply them to this new layer. So you don't have to go back and change any symmetry settings. So with this selected, we're going to grab our light blue color, the same color that we use for our background, only this time we're going to apply a multiply blend mode. So tap on the little and toggle this up until you get to multiply and now we can draw in our water and it'll be a little quicker because we're keeping the symmetry and I'm going to come up just a little more than a third of the way and I'm not going to go all the way to the edges make sure that you've got your mono weight brush reselected now and I'm just going to draw in this water and now I'm going to drag this underneath my vase because I want it to be within my vase. And now I can see the texture of the glass on top of the water, which is exactly how I want it to look. Everything's going to go underneath the vase for all of our florals so it looks like they're actually inside the vase. So let's label this. I'm going to label this water and I'm going to label this vase. So now let's give this vase a little bit of a shadow so it looks like it's got some depth to it. So right above the water layer, create a brand new layer. We're going to call this shadow. We're going to keep the blue color still selected. We're going to change our blend mode to multiply again. And you're just going to draw an oval. Wait until it snaps. I don't have my symmetry turned on for this one, but it doesn't matter. You could definitely turn that on if you want. Let me fill that with color, line this up in the center. And I'm going to reduce the size of this just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to reduce the opacity too. So I'm going to bring it down to about 40% looks good. Okay, so now we've got a vase with water in it with a little shadow. Now we can turn off our guideline. We don't need the center guideline anymore. So just hit your wrench, 
go to canvas and then just toggle off drawing guide. And now we're all set to begin drawing our flowers. So these flowers that I'm drawing are my interpretation of a buttercup and they're a little bit dimensional. So the shape isn't entirely symmetrical. So I'm going to walk you through how I draw these dimensional flowers right after we draw the stems that we're going to attach them to. So once again, I'm underneath the vase layer. So tap on your shadow layer, create a new layer right above it. This one's going to be buttercup stems. And the color we're using for this one is this first color right here. I still have my mono weight brush selected. I'm going to come down to like 3%. So I'm just going to draw some random stems in here and they're going to go in different places and be different lengths. And I'm going to have five of them. And now I'm going to put some leaves on them, but all the leaves are going to be above the top part of the base. Okay, now we're going to draw our buttercup flowers. So create a new layer right above your buttercup stems and just label it buttercups. Okay, I'm going to select my bright yellow color and the way you're going to draw these flowers, it's a little bit different depending on the direction that they're facing, but to give you a general idea of how these are drawn is you're going to draw the main petal up at the top and then because these petals are just a little bit closed, the next petal is going to be shaped something like this and then we're going to have a more circular petal, another circular petal, and then the last one's going to look a little bit like the second one. And then you're just going to fill it with color. Let me reposition this so it's a little more centered on the stem. And now we're going to create a new layer right above your buttercups layer. And this one's just going to be buttercup highlights. This one's going to have a clipping mask applied to it. So you're going to tap on the layer's thumbnail and choose clipping mask. We're going to select the light yellow color I'm going to reduce the size of this down to 2%. And then this edge is going to have a little bit of depth to it because the petal is kind of closed up just slightly. So we're going to see the back side of it. And then same thing with this one. And then this one is also going to be closing up just slightly. And now on this side, and then it's up to you if you wanna add a little bit to the top petal, if you do add a little bit, make sure it is just a little bit. So that just gives it a little bit of a dimension. All right, so now we're going to put in our center. So I'm going to create a new layer, I call this buttercup center. I'm going to grab my darkest color, which is right here. And then you're just going to put in some different shaped dots in the center. And we're going to create one more layer to add just a little bit more detail to the center of the flower. We're going to call this one buttercup lines and grab your buttercup center layer and just drag it above your buttercup lines layer. And for this one, we're going to keep this light yellow selected and our brush size is all the way down to 1%. And we're just going to draw in some really simple lines from the center to the petals. Okay, so that is one flower down. So I'm just going to repeat that exact same process four more times for my other stems. Okay, now that we have all of our buttercups drawn in, let's group all of these buttercup layers together. So group, we'll label this buttercups. And now if we turn them on and off, they go at the same time. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add in some smaller supporting flowers. So we're going to start by adding in some small white flowers first, and we're going to put some behind the buttercups and some in front of the buttercups just to add a little bit of extra depth. So we're going to create the ones on top of the buttercups first, and then we'll add some behind. So I'm going to create a new layer right above my buttercups layer. For these ones, we're using our darkest color for the stems, and the stems for these are also going to be 3% in size and I'm going to draw two of them in. So there's going to be a stem here and then a stem here. I'm going to label this one stems, create a new layer right above it. This one's going to be labeled white flowers. And these ones are super simple. We've actually drawn these before if you've been following along with my other Procreate floral tutorials. So I'm going to grab my white color right here. I'm going to increase my brush size up to about 6% and I'm going to drop in some really simple lines right here. Okay, we're going to return back to our stem color. I'm going to return to my stem layer, reduce the size down to 2% and just connect some of these white flowers to the stem. 
Okay, and now we're going to do the exact same thing, only we're going to put some flowers in the back. So let's group these together and label this white flowers front. And now we're going to tap on our shadow layer, create a new layer above it and repeat the exact same process, only putting these same white flowers behind the buttercups now. So I'm going to create my stems layer, increase my brush size to 3% again, and I'm going to put some right here, right here, and right here. I'm gonna add in another one right here. Create a new layer, white flowers. If you ever need to see what you're doing, if it's hard to tell, just turn off your buttercups layer and that'll make it a lot easier. Okay, I just finished up my white flowers in the back. Let me turn my buttercups back on so we can see them again. I'm going to group my white flowers and my stems together and label this one white flowers back. All right, now we're just going to finish off the flowers in our vase with some supporting really simple flowers. So these ones are actually just going to be buttercup buds. So I'm going to create a new layer right above my buttercups layer. And we're going to grab the second color on the bottom row for our stems. We're going to make the stems 3% again. And this one's going to be pretty simple. So we're going to draw one down right here. And these ones are going to have kind of stems that branch off of the main branch. And I'm going to put another one here. So let me turn off the flowers, actually all the flowers, and we'll just roll with this. So I'm just going to call this um, bud stems and then create a new layer above it label this one buds and I'm going to grab my dark yellow color and just draw some circles here and draw them different sizes too okay so you can see I didn't attach one to the end of every one of these stems we're going to also put some light colored ones on here too Okay, let's turn on our other flowers. I'm going to group the buds and the bud stems layers together and label this one buds. I actually wanna move these up just a little bit. Okay, so the last thing that we have is to add in our lettering. So let's group all of these layers together. And we're going to call this one flower vase. And now I'm going to create a brand new layer. We're going to grab our darkest color and I'm going to grab my round marker from my Font Lovers Procreate brush set. There's a link in the video description to this. And then just write out whatever phrase you would like. All right, so that is how to create a vase full of spring flowers directly in Procreate. Once again, the free color palette plus all the brushes used throughout this tutorial are right in the video description. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate design and lettering tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you decide to try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.